UT grad and astronaut Butch Wilmore still in space more than two months after his NASA launch date. His return has already been delayed several weeks and we're learning it might not be until next year. Our Sam Luther joins us. Sam, you spoke with his family. He's hoping he can come home soon. Yeah, Casey, it's a family with East Tennessee ties who now lives in Texas. Tonight, his wife and two daughters share a perspective that not many have ever had, having a dad and husband in space and not knowing exactly when he'll come back home. On June 5th, the Wilmore family watches their dad and husband launched into space for an eight day mission. It turned into much more. You know, we sort of don't expect him until probably February, February or March. Butch Wilmore's wife, Deanna, and kids, 19 year old Darren and 16 year old Logan, are preparing to be without Wilmore for at least another six months. A delayed return because of concerns over the Boeing Starliner's thrusters. We are actually doing thruster testing as we speak. The analyzing of the data with the thrusters and that, um, you know, you have people that some think it's okay, some think it's not okay. This family is still able to FaceTime Wilmore several times a day. It is so cool. He gives us a lot of Earth views. I especially like um, seeing the sunset. An eight-day trip turning into eight months isn't what Wilmore had planned, but his wife Deanna says he's staying positive. He just takes it knowing the Lord's in control and that since the Lord's in control of it, that he's content where he is. However, Wilmore will likely miss Christmas, he and his wife's 30th wedding anniversary, and most of Logan's senior year in high school, and several theater performances from Darren. While they'll miss him, this family is proud of the UT grad. All of my college friends call him after dad. It's kind of um, a joke that we're all like his little fan club. They're not frustrated because they know there's nothing they can do to change the outcome, taking it one day at a time while Wilmore continues his work at the International Space Station, still uncertain of when he'll come home. Yeah, you just so, sort of have to roll with it and you sort of expect the unexpected. Yeah, this isn't Wilmore's first time in space, so this is something this family, believe it or not, has almost gotten used to. However, an eight-month delay, certainly abnormal even for them. Now, while they're not seeing him in person, this family says, Casey, some days they're actually talking to him more than what they would have if he were back home. With the ability to FaceTime each other really around the clock, they're still staying in touch, hoping for a safe return sometime this coming February, possibly even sooner. Yeah, it reminds you how incredible that technology is to get that in space. And Sam, we'll keep an eye on when his return date is finalized. We'll let you know.